Hey, what's good, Backyard Barbecue? It's Barbecue as man. This your boy, Mr. B. I'm back, as promised. I know we just did a brisket um, cooked for about seven hours, I believe, uh, a couple days ago. But as promised, I came back. I'm going to show you how to calculate how long it takes for you to cook any piece of meat. I don't care if you're using a Kamado, pellet grill, oven, uh, smoker, anything that holds temps. All you need is two numbers. How much it actually weighs after you, right before you get ready to put it on the grill, you weigh it that number plus how many minutes it takes for you to cook it per pound and that's googling anything how long does it take to cook a 15 pound turkey they may say at 225 which doesn't matter for these calculations the actual temperature but it might say something like at 225 it takes you let's say a brisket because that's what i do at 225 it takes you 90 minutes per pound that's all you need i know 90 minutes and then all you gotta do is weigh it that's my calculation on spreadsheet but for uh, the sake of explaining it, just stay tuned to the video. It's a tad bit lengthy just because I'm doing math the long way. Um, bear with me on that because it's been a minute. But anyway, I'm going to show you two the short way on the calculator. And then at the end, if you want the actual spreadsheet that I created, uh, feel free to reach out to me and we'll talk offline. I'll get your information or however you want me to send it to you, and I'll send it to you. Um, as a note, the spreadsheet is not for sale. But if you'd like to donate to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. If not, it's to you, it's for you, it's for us, the backyard barbecues, to make our stuff perfect in and every time. So y'all stay tuned. God bless. And I'll let you in the comments. But for today's video or the part part one of this series, we're gonna just talk about a 10-pound piece of meat. That could be a brisket, that could be a, a Boston butt, that could be a big old turkey, it could be anything, right? And you want to calculate how much time you're cooking this piece of meat at whatever temperature, right? Um, I use, let's say 250. 225 is for my brisket. All right, let's say 250. Make it easy. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is break this thing down into time, right? And this is for anything you're doing, right? Once you calculate how much time it takes to cook a piece of meat, Per pound, you can Google it. You say, how, how long does it take me to cook a 10-pound turkey, right? It'll say, at this particular degree, degrees, this much time, right? So for this one, we're using, and this is my brisket, right? So we're going to leave it just like this, right? even though I cook it 225. So don't worry about that, right? So this one says, I win 30 minutes per pound on a brisket, no matter how big or small, right? So for this one, you got 10 pounds, right? 10 pounds. A 10 pound brisket, right? Or a big piece of meat, right? At an hour 30. So now you got to break that down and to make it easy for you, you got your time, hour 30, on a 10 pound brisket at 225. This part doesn't matter, right? So now you got to break that down into minutes. An hour and 30 equals 90 minutes, right? You got an hour, which is 60 minutes, and half an hour is 30 minutes, right? That's 90 minutes, if you add, right? So we're going to wipe that off. We got that part, 90 minutes. 90 minutes per pound, all right? An hour and 30 per pound equals 90 minutes per pound. Same thing. Check time in the minutes, right? So now you have to figure out, we're breaking this down into simple science, right? If it's 90 minutes to cook a pound, what does that pound break down to in ounces, right? So a pound is equal to one pound is equal to 16 ounces, right? So what it tells you is the same thing is 90 minutes to cook a pound. A pound is the same thing as 16 ounces. So it takes 90 minutes to cook 16 ounces, right? Here's where it get tricky. We're cooking a 10 pound brisket, right? So if you want to do step four, Calculate, calculate, calculate. All right. So you got 90 minutes to cook this. Now you want to know what 10 pounds. Now you want to know what 10 pounds of meat is going to take you to cook. How long, right? Here's where the science comes in or the math, right? So if 16 ounces equals one pound, 16 
ounces equals one pound then 10 pounds right here 10 pounds equals and this is simple for this one because I'm doing 10 I can just add a zero oh, one six zero ounces oh, 160 ounces how did I get that 16 ounces times 10 pounds all right you want to do the math zero 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 one six one six zero that's basically multiplication or you can actually do this on your on your calculator 16 times 10 and it'll give you 160. that 160 equals the ounces right so now that's what 10 pounds equals 160 ounces so we're going to wipe this off real quick just so i have room on the board um, comment below if I'm talking too fast and I do some random calculations. I may even come out with an Excel document or something that you can just plug it in. Make it easy for all of us because I'd be doing this too on the fly. Right? So now we have this. This is for this piece of meat right here. That's 10 pounds. That's 160 ounces. Right? That 10 pounds is equal to 160 ounces. So now what you got to figure out is in this calculation if it takes me 90 minutes to cook 16 ounces right here's what you got to calculate 16 ounces divided by 90 minutes here's what you're going to calculate right so to make this easy we're going to do this and i'm going to show you how to calculate it i'm just bringing up my calculator here So 16 goes into 90, 5.625 times, right? That tells you how many minutes it takes to cook each ounce, right? So we're going to do this easy. They got 16 ounces, once again, in a pound. And this is what we're breaking down before we look into this. Right? We got 16 ounces, and we want to figure out how many minutes it takes to cook one ounce, right? So you got to divide your ounces into the amount of minutes, and that'll tell you per minute um, how long you got to cook. Right, so easy, right? Five, 16, that's 30, that's 80. I'm just doing math, right? This is simple division, and I'm showing you how you get your six point, uh, 5.625. Five times 16 is 80. No, zero, five, yep, 80. One, zero, then you have to add decimals, right? Zero, so you add your zero here, six, we're going to this, six, 36, three, that's 96, all right, that's four, 10, that's four, then you add another zero, two times, two times 16, I'm, I'm just doing this as the, the, the hard way, right, but the calculator going to get it there. I'm showing you how you figure this. 2 times 16 is 32. 8. Got to add another 0. Right? Yeah, that's 0. And then obviously the 5 times 16 will equal your 80. Bam. Hard way, easy way. Right? And even better way is a, a, a spreadsheet, which I might actually create. All right. So anyway, we're going to wipe this off. We're going to write this over here to the side. 5.62. Five, and you ask me what that calculate means that means it takes 16 ounces 16 ounces is divided into the 90 right and that tells me 5.625 let me write that here 5.625 as in ounces or minutes I'm sorry so per ounce per ounce So one ounce takes five minutes, 5.625 minutes, right? You want to calculate that 5.5 .5 would be uh, five minutes and 30 seconds if you want to calculate, if you really want to get in depth on actual time. So do the math on that, right? Per ounce, per ounce, we basically took 16 ounces and then figured out out of 90 minutes how long it would take to cook one ounce. So this is per ounce right so now we're gonna scratch this out and 
and this is off just a standard 10 piece uh 10 pound piece of meat all right sorry about that i had to get some water from my throat all right so here we go right now you got 5.625 minutes or we'll say five minutes is five, over five and a half minutes per ounce right so you're gonna do this right here five six two five put your little decimal there and you got 160 ounces one six zero you're gonna multiply it and all this is gonna do is tell you how many minutes it's gonna take you to cook a 10 pound brisket or a 10 pound piece of meat right zero 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 let's do the calculation first make it easy 5.625 times one six zero that's 900 right we're gonna put this over here 900 minutes to cook equals 10 pound brisket. Gotcha. You broke this dog on 10 pound brisket down, and I'm coming back to this 10 pound brisket, a 10 pound piece of meat, into 160 ounces, right? You multiply 10 times 16 ounces. 16 ounces is one pound, right? And you got 10 pounds. So 16 times 10, 160 ounces, right? Our calculation per minute. Uh, minutes per ounce is 5.625 minutes per ounce so basically it takes us five and a half minutes to cook one ounce exactly what they're saying so i'm gonna take my five and a half minutes and multiply times 160 ounces this is gonna give me 900 right? all right let's go 5.625 that's how many minutes per ounce and we got 160 ounces all right we know that answer is 900 right using our handy dandy calculator 900 and i'll just show you right here 5.625 times 160 equals that's 900 minutes right that's what we got right here 900 minutes to cook a 10 pound turkey or oh, i'm sorry brisket or any piece of meat right so if you want to do the hard calculation, obviously, you just go for what you know. Right? This old school. 33, 12, 15, carry 1, 36, 37, 30, 5265. Right? That right there? You add now, right? Zero. Zero. Five plus five is ten. Zero. Carry one. One plus seven is eight. Plus two. Ten. Zero. Carry one. One plus three is four. Plus six is ten. Zero. Carry one. One plus three is four. Four plus five is nine. Right? Put your decimal, you bring it down three digits, one, two, three, 900 minutes. Hard way, right? Woo! Had to break that out for you. Anyway, so long story short, and we'll wipe this off so you're not getting too confused because we're using this calculator these days, y'all. 900 minutes to cook a 10 pound turkey or a piece of meat, right? So now that you got this, 900 minutes, you want to divide that by 60. And that'll tell you how many hours, 60 minutes in an hour, right? 60 minutes equals one hour, right? So we're going to divide this the hard way, and then we're going to do this. It's easy. This is easy calculation here. 60 into 90, one time, right? Subtract that. That's three, zero. Bring down the zero. That's a five. That's a 15-hour cook, y'all. Five times Zero is zero. Five times six is thirty. Zero. Fifteen hours, y'all. Nine hundred minutes equals fifteen hours. And I'll show you. Nine hundred. Nine hundred divided by sixty equals fifteen hours, y'all. My math ain't all that, but it's there. So a ten-pound piece of meat, right? The temperature doesn't matter for this calculation. You have to break down the minutes into ounces, the minutes per pound into actual minutes, the time into minutes, 
you have to break the pounds into ounces and then you divide those two together which is going to give you how many minutes per ounce and then you take that and you come up with your calculation 16 ounces equals a pound for this particular cook because it's easy 160 ounces equals 10 pounds and you can just google this and say how many ounces equal a pound and then put in your or how many pounds equals an ounce and just put in this number and it would gave you this already and then you calculate your time from there actually i might do a, a spreadsheet on that thinking about it so anybody anyway long story short i don't even know if it's worth doing this one uh so yeah that's how you calculate it y'all how you get a 10 pound piece of meat that cooked at 250 degrees for an hour and a half per pound will tell you you need to cook that meat for 15 hours if you maintain that same temperature right this part here doesn't change. You don't even equate that to your uh, equation here. Woo! All right. I hope y'all learned something. Uh, I'm actually going to do a spreadsheet, y'all. So stay tuned for that. Actually, I'm going to put it in the comments below, y'all. So stay tuned. I'm going to put it in the comments below. Um, a simple cal calculation. All you do is put your pound in. Temperature doesn't even matter. Your pound in and the number of minutes and then the rest will calculate itself. So stay tuned. I hope y'all like it. God bless. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll let your boy easy calculation on how to calculate how long it takes to cook your meat, y'all. Stay tuned.